they've got the Gundam game. How's it going? So I've got my Raspberry Pi 4 here, got my micro SD inserted in my PC. So you know what that means. I've got a new image I wanna test out. Now this is the 128 gig Wolfanaz image. So my micro SD is done imaging. I'm gonna pop it into my Raspberry Pi. Let's fire it up. He's on fire! This is a cool boot up screen. I'm actually kind of hyped to see how this goes. This has got to be the perfect image for anybody that's building a arcade cabinet, a tabletop unit, or even just some sort of portable retro pie build. A 128 gig SD card is not that expensive nowadays because when you go over 128 gig, they do get a little bit pricey here and there. And then when you go lower, you do sacrifice some games. So 12,000 games, 128 gigs, that's like the perfect size to me. All right, so let's test out some of the features. I've heard it has a couple of cool features on it. So it supposedly has a screensaver feature. All right, so here's the screensaver settings. So we have screensaver behavior, random video, slideshow. All right, so let's set our screensaver to come up automatically. So for the sake of the video to speed this up, let's see how the screensaver looks. Now I love this background, by the way, like all the CRTs kind of rendered in like a 3D manner and you have all the games running on them. That's just pretty sick. All right, so here's our screensaver. So, okay, so we've got our border and we've got a random NES game. So let's see, it's, I have it set to 10 seconds. Every 10 seconds is supposed to change to a new title. So is that random or is that just what I have it set on at that moment? If it was set on NES, is it only gonna show NES games or is it gonna like move over to other ones? Other consoles is what I mean. Okay, so we move over to Atari. Okay, so allegedly you're supposed to be able to just click start and then it just start the game that's on the screensaver, which would be sick if you're just walking by like, oh, I wanna play that game, or oh, I've never heard of that game. You just literally go by and hit start. Let's check it out, let's see if it works. That's sick, actually. Now I'm really tempted to build an arcade cabinet just because of this OS. That would be so sick to just go by, click start, and just play it. You could just get so cultured with like all the old games. I didn't have like a gaming PC growing up in our house. We had like just, a, I mean, we had a computer, but it was just internet browsing. That was all it was prioritized for. There were no, there was no like hardware to run games on. So I never experienced a lot of those PC games, especially the old ones, um, unless I go and find them and they've been like remastered or something. So this just gives like people an opportunity to play games that they maybe missed out on. Okay, so we've got 12K games on this. So if we filter by all games, of course we're not gonna do that. So let's see kind of how it's broken down by console. Let's start with arcade. So we've got 2000 arcade titles. So I think the arcade titles take up a big chunk of the memory that we're using here on our 128 gigs. So 2000 arcade units, these are the, the bread and butters. A lot of these are just ones that you'll see cabinets of. So th this is like what you want for a stand up or tabletop arcade experience. You want to have a lot of these titles and, and of course it delivers on those. Uh, so 2000 of those. So specifically light gun, 64 light gun titles. Perfect game for a stand up arcade cabinet whether you're modding a arcade one up cabinet or you're building your own cabinet see what i want to do is i want to build i want to get the materials get the pre-cut wood and kind of put one together i'm not a carpenter by any means but i feel like i at least have you know the means of using a power drill and whatnot to build a um a cabinet unit if people want to know how to build those cabinets because it's only a few hundred dollars if you want to build a um an arcade cabinet uh, just the materials is what i mean just the the wood material so i mean if you have like an old pc laying around or an old laptop laying around that might be an incentive to to make a video on how to build one of those um but yeah i'm going off on a tangent again we'll see what kind of games we have on here uh, so these are all the light gun titles um i've never got into to roms in light guns but i feel like that'd be a fun project also um let's go back let's see what we have with the 3do Six games on that, uh, probably expected, not super popular. Commodore, 600 titles. Atari 2600, 600 titles again there. Atari 5200, 94 titles. Atari 7800, 58 titles. Um, the Atari Lynx, let's see any games, or what kind of games are on this bad boy. These look so fun. Okay, so 
I mean, this was a handheld, but this is this is a pretty good lineup. Okay, we got some more arcade titles here. Let's see what's on here. Dolphin Blue. Okay, so we got a lot of 3D stuff on here. And um, these are actually some solid titles here. Yeah, this is actually this is actually a nice little pleasant surprise of these titles being on here. Oh yeah, these, this is like these are classics. Oh, that's perfect. That's a nice little lineup right there. Channel F, ColecoVision, 140 titles. Commodore 64, 687 titles. It's a nice balance though. Like a lot of these you're seeing the 600, 600, 600. It's a nice little balance. Family computer, 400. The Game & Watch. Okay, the original Game Boy, 860 titles. That's interesting actually. I wouldn't consider the original Game Boy having, you know, a good um, arcade presence, but I never really thought of it that way. I, when I think of the original Game Boy, I think of a lot of like RPGs and like really simple platformers, but it did actually have a lot of good games that may be worth playing on a uh, arcade cabinet. Or putting this in a handheld also <laughs> would be a great idea. So it's like, it's got the best of both worlds. A lot of games probably would do do good either way on a handheld or a, um, a stand-up arcade cabinet. So we got 251 Game Boy Advance, we got 500 Game Boy Color, the Intellivision 137, the MSX and the MSX2 equal out to about 500 titles. We got the Neo Geo, of course, 141 titles. I do want to see the Neo Geo. So what's what do we have on here? So all right, we've got Aero Fighters, Alpha Mission. What kind of fighting games do we have on this bad boy? Fatal Fury 2, Fatal Fury 3. Got Metal Slugs, that's a good sign. Neo Bomberman. Where's some more fighters? Okay, so we got Samurai Showdown, those are always good. We got Street Hoops, the original Street Hoops. Man. Underrated, underrated. King of Fighters, let's go. Okay, that's what I want to see right there. All those King of Fighters. That's what I want to see right there. This is this has got to go on a stand-up arcade cabinet. I got to build one. Like the last blade. Okay, World Heroes. Okay, that's respectable. That's respectable. Neo Geo Pocket. That was nine games, 40 games on the Neo Geo Pocket Color. The N64, we got 300 games. That's impressive because as we know, the Nintendo 64, it was only 3D games. Like it had no 2D titles. So um, them packing 300 3D games on this bad boy is a nice feat. Of course, you got to start it off with 007. I mean, I mean, what are you doing? But that's the world's not enough. Where's GoldenEye? GoldenEye better. Is GoldenEye not on here though? Because it would have been there, right? All right, we'll, we'll see it if it gets there. But yeah, I don't want to scroll through 300 some games, but you can imagine what's on the, on the Nintendo 64 list here. I mean, it's going to have all the classics. I mean, they were damn near all classics anyways. Oh, there it is. Okay, so it, it, it was, I didn't realize it was GoldenEye 007. I didn't realize that's how it was named. I, never, I guess I never thought of it. I always thought it was 007 GoldenEye, but it's actually GoldenEye 007, I guess. Okay. Hexen Classic. Dude, if you like, I don't know. A lot of people maybe never played Hexen, but if you like Skyrim and want to play like a D make of Skyrim, Hexen is like a D make of Skyrim. If, if saying it, <laughs> saying that makes me want to cringe, but if you liked Skyrim, you'll like Hexen for sure. Super fun. All right, so let's keep going. 
Nintendo DS, we have 66 titles. Man, NES, we've got 800. Odyssey 2, 122 games. Okay, so Beats of Rage. So these are mods of, of the Streets of Rage kind of um, base game, I guess you could say, if you've never heard of this. So they, they basically take a lot of this, this beat em up style of Battle of Toads and, and Streets of Rage, and they kind of modded it into really cool concepts here. Which we've got, where, where are some of the cool ones at? The Mortal Kombat, Outworld Assassins, Mortal Kombat Unlimited. Rhythm of Destruction 2 Street Fighter Edition. <laughs> That's just cool, man. Like, going through playing a beat em up with Guile. And it's actually, like, well made. It's not some, like, garbage. So fun. Uh, PC Engine, we got 339 games. CD ROM, two games. PC Port, seven games. Scum VM. Okay, so we got the 32X, the Mega Drive 32X, which. Um, I did have as a kid it kind of flopped I guess you could say but it needed to be made just to it to advance the the master system the 32x was you know kind of a quirky little thing but I mean it needed to be made to kind of advance the system and progress it uh, and it, it had some good titles on it I mean it maybe it maybe didn't sell super well but like the people that did have it, I think we're super satisfied with it. So the Sega CD, another add-on to the Sega Genesis. Okay, we've got 15 Dreamcast titles. So I'm um, we gotta have okay, I was gonna say we gotta have Marvel vs. Capcom 2. That's just a staple. That's just another reason I need to make this into an arcade cabinet. I keep saying it and I need to do it. Power Stone, Power Stone 2, the original Soul Calibur, Sonic Adventure, classics, classics, classics. Game Gear, we got 300 or 332 games. I do have a physical Game Gear. I just got it recently. Never actually owned one as a kid, so that's pretty cool. Uh, being able to go back and order some of those old Game Gear cartridges that I never got to play. Let's see, so we just got the Mega Drive, 832 titles, nice. A lot of good games on here that you could play on an arcade cabinet. The Naomi, 26 games. Let's see what 26 games they've got on this bad boy. Okay, it's 18 wheeler, airline pilots. Okay, so we've got some good little 3D games on here. Capcom vs. SNK, classic. That are live two classic heavy metal Marvel's got come two on this as well classic. Oh, they've got the Gundam game. I I actually played a game like this, or very similar to this, or maybe it was just like the U.S. version of it or something. Man, this game was fun. I think it was on like PlayStation Two. I think it was PS2 that there was a very similar game to this, if not the same game. Oh man, just classics all around. Street Fighter Zero Three, <laughs> dude. Oh my god. What they had the WWF Royal Rumble on this bad boy? Oh my gosh, man. This that's a this is a pleasant surprise right here. This is uh, another pleasant surprise on here. Sega Saturn, 10 games. I wonder what 10 games they picked for this. Okay, Golden Axe, The Duel. That was a pretty cool game. Okay, Panzer Dragoon, classic. House of the Dead, classic. Okay, all right, so we've got the PlayStation, 18 games. Let's see what 18 we got here. Alien Trilogy, we got Castlevania, that's a nice little arcade game, um, a nice little game you could play as an arcade game, I guess is what I'm trying to say, that I never really thought of playing on like a, um, a fight stick, Crash Bandicoot, Diablo, that's pretty cool, um, you don't see that on too many images, the original PlayStation Diablo, 
Uh, Final Fantasy 7 Classic. Although you can get Final Fantasy 7 on literally anything. I feel like you can get it on your TI-85 TI calculator at this point. It's been ported so many times. A Gran Turismo 2 Classic. I used to play this game so much. Gran Turismo 2. Um, I didn't actually own the game, but I always go over to my cousin's house and he always had it. And we would play it all the time. And he didn't have a memory card, so we'd have to just play one session. So we would start it early in the morning and play as far as we could get. And the goal was to get the Dodge Viper and get it as fast as possible before we ended that play session for the day or switch to a different game. So that was always a fun little like game inside the game that we played. Um, the original Metal Gear Solid, Mortal Kombat Trilogy, Classic, Tekken 3, Tony Hawk 2. I wonder how that would play on a fight stick. I never tried it. Oh, and Twisted Metal 2, Classic. 18 PSP games. Not going to get into those, really. So the Super Nintendo, I call it the Super Nintendo CD. But um, it had 13 titles. What did it run? Okay, so it had an F-Zero title. It had a Contra title. Had a chrono trigger. Had chrono trigger on it. Interesting. Was that the same game that released as a cartridge? Why would? Okay, I have to look up the history on that. So they were just re-released the games in a CD form. Was there any benefit to the CD version? I have to look into that actually. That's interesting. So the Super Nintendo, we've got almost 800 games on that. We can, we know what classics are on that. The Super Graphics, five games. Oh, this bad boy. Vectrex, 23 games. Virtual Boy, 23 games. And then the Sinclair, 291 games. Man, this thing has got such a variety. Forget just the 12K games, because I feel like a lot of people could just throw 12,000 games into an image and call it done but like the the little surprises you get on this image where you're just like man I forgot about this game or oh this is a nice little category where you just kind of go in these little nooks and crannies of the build and just like get surprised each time where you just like get more and more excited over it I, that's why I feel like makes this build like perfect not just that it's like the perfect size and the perfect amount of games where it's like it's it's the games that were selected and like what systems they were selected for is what makes it like that top notch quality. So let me know in the comments if you would like to see how to build an arcade cabinet, a full size one. Would you rather build it with parts laying around or would you rather build it and go full out and put a full PC inside of it? But that's pretty much it. Peace.